We're asked to find the remainder when 3 to the power of 123 is divided by 7. We can answer this question using congruence by finding the smallest positive x such that x is congruent to 3 to the power of 123 mod 7, where x must be greater than or equal to 0 and less than 7. This problem is more challenging than the previous example, and therefore I do want to show two different versions on how to determine the remainder. Because the number is expressed as the power of 3, we begin by determining congruences for powers of 3 mod 7. We begin with 3 to the first. 3 to the first is congruent to 3 mod 7. Next we consider 3 squared or 9. 3 squared or 9 is congruent to 2 mod 7, which is helpful if we express 3 to the power of 123 as factors of 3 squared, we can then replace 3 squared with 2, which will give us a whole bunch of factors of 2, but then we can use the fact that 2 cubed, or 8, is congruent to 1 mod 7 to then determine the remainder. For this first version, we'll use these two congruences to determine the remainder. So for the first step, we need to express 3 to the power of 123 as factors of 3 squared using the exponent property a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n. We need to determine how many twos are in 123. And if we need to, we can divide. 123 divided by two is 61 with a remainder of one, which means three to the power of 123 can be expressed as three squared raised to the power of 61 times three to the first. Notice we still have 123 factors of three here, because two times 61 plus one is 123. In this form though, because three squared is congruent to two mod seven, we can replace three squared with two, which gives us two to the power of 61 times three to the first is congruent to three to the power of 123 mod seven. And now we need to work with the two to the power of 61. And we'll use the congruence that two cubed is congruent to one mod seven, which means now we need to express two to the power of 61 as factors of two cubed, which means we need to determine how many threes are in 61. And again, if we need to, we can divide. We have 20 with the remainder of one, which means we can express two to the power of 61 as two cubed raised to the power of 20 times two to the first. So altogether we have two cubed raised to the 20th power times two to the first times three to the first is congruent to three to the power of 123 mod seven. From here, because two cubed is congruent to one mod seven, we can replace two cubed with one, which gives us one to the power of 20 times two to the first times three to the first is congruent to three to the power of 123 mod seven. Simplifying one last time, we have six is congruent to three to the power of 123 mod seven. Six is greater than or equal to zero and less than seven. Six is the remainder when three to the power of 123 is divided by seven. And now let's take a look at a different version of determining the same remainder. Instead of stopping here, let's say we consider three cubed. Three cubed or 27 is congruent to six mod seven. While at first we might think this isn't helpful, but if we were able to express three to the power of 123 as a bunch of factors of six, we could use the congruence that six squared or 36 is congruent to one mod seven, and then determine the remainder. So I also wanna show this version on how to determine the remainder. If we're gonna use this version, we now need to determine how many factors of three cubed are in three to the power of 123. To do this, if we need to, we can divide 123 by three. Notice there are exactly 41 threes in 123, which indicates we can express three to the power of 123 as three cubed to the power of 41. From here, three cubed is congruent to six mod seven. We can replace three cubed with six, which gives us six to the power of 41 is congruent to three to the power of 123 mod seven. And now working with the six to the power of 41, we need to determine how many factors of six squared are in six to the power of 41. If we need to, we can divide 41 by two we have 20 with the remainder of one, which indicates we can express six to the power of 41 as six squared to the power of 20 times six to the first. And because six squared is congruent to one mod seven, we can replace six squared with one. 
which gives us 1 to the power of 20 times 6 to the first is congruent to 3 to the power of 123 mod 7. Simplifying one last time, notice how we get the same result. We have 6 is congruent to 3 to the power of 123 mod 7, which indicates 6 is the remainder. I hope you found this helpful.